Alright. <clears throat> I've already done this video once today, and I talked for like 20 fucking minutes on it, but I'm, um, wouldn't let me, editing app wouldn't get it to work, so, looks like I'm gonna do it again for Marcus. I mean, the Grim Reaper. Fuck. Anyway, he asked me to do a shout out for him for something that's on his page. I think it's a video game thing. I think it's for GTA. It's like a clan. Anyway, his name on here is The Grim Reaper. And that's proper capitalization. You know, The Grim Reaper. All capitalized, all that good stuff. Proper spelling, no underscore. Go check him out. Go like up, go like up some of his stuff. Comment on his videos. Ask him what's up with it. Check him out. I'll put a link to his page in the description. Now, he wanted me to do something on police brutality. Now, I'm going to have to try to keep it under 15 minutes and see if that works. And if not, I guess I'm going to have to shoot this shit again. But, um, um, police brutality. Now, I have friends of all colors. Or I've had friends over the years that don't really have many at all anymore. I've got, like, two maybe. But <laughs> other than that, I've noticed that it's less, or at least in my personal life, it's been less about color and more about presentation, the way you present yourself. And that's everything from the way you dress, to the way you're talking, to what manner you're talking. Now, what that means is, if you dress like you're in a fucking drill rap video from Chicago, understand how that makes you look. If you wear any social space cat t-shirts, you don't look like you carry a gun and sell dope. Just saying. I mean, if you like basketball, that's cool, but maybe not wear the Chicago, the red Chicago Bulls hat, the red Chicago Bulls little wife beater thing, the red Chicago Bulls joggers with your fucking pants sagging, and the red Chicago Bulls, not red Chicago Bulls, well, just the red Jordans or the red sneakers. Understand how that makes you look because police profile. I profile, everyone profiles. When you see someone that looks a certain way, you immediately think a certain thing about them. That's just the way it is. Now, me personally, if I see anyone dressed in that layup walk into a fucking gas station with me, I'm eyeing the shit out of them. Because, <laughs> and if a cop were to see that person, it's they're not really bad guys for assuming that they got three ounces, like three grams of weed in their car. I'm thirsty, I'm fucking tired. I just woke up. Anyway, you know, I've seen, my, I mean, me and my friends have been stopped by the police just walking down the road. Respectful, nothing happens. Mixed group of race. Nothing becomes of it. Respectful, quiet. Same group, same guy I used to hang out with, same group. Bad into drugs, stole shit, got caught stealing a motorcycle. Respectful to the cops when he got caught. Didn't even put the cuffs on him tight. Brought him in, not a problem. Now, some kids that go to school, when they were asked to leave the classroom, they got rowdy. Resource officer got called in. They, is it cause I'm black? Is it cause I'm black? And we're fighting, they hit their hands on the desk and they're mean and loud. They got tased and hemmed up and dragged out of the classroom because they're acting a damn fool. Had nothing to do with what color they were. If you act a damn fool, you're going to get treated like it. I mean, and so far as people killing cops right now, like in um, uh, Baton Rouge and in Dallas, y'all got to understand, you y'all are doing the same shit that y'all are mad at them for doing. And, you know, two rights don't make, two wrongs don't make a right. If you're mad because there's some cops out there that are profiling and are being, like, really fucking aggressive over something. And y'all go out and y'all kill five cops that... I think three of the five are ex-military. Like, you had an ex-Marine in Dallas. You had ex-Navy and an ex-Army Ranger. So these guys' whole lives has pretty much been serving their fucking country and their community. And y'all fucking... Ki and not y'all... When I say y'all, I want to say, like, Black Lives Matter, because at this point I'm considering them a terrorist organization because they're doing terrorist shit, they're shutting down roads, and... In school, we were taught that it's perfectly legal to protest, but if you shut down a road, you're breaking the law. And if you break the law, in my opinion, you should be treated like a criminal. 
And when people, you know, people say all sorts of stuff, like, you know, I've said before, not all Muslims are terrorists, but people think that all Muslims are terrorists because some of them act like terrorists. I guess that just made me sound bad because I just turned that around on Black Lives Matter because some of their members do bad shit. I'm considering them all bad. But I've heard a lot of them talk, like people that are higher up, and I don't like the shit they're talking about. And plus, I feel like they should work more on communities less than the small amount of... I mean, it's a lot in percentage compared to the black community compared to the white community in America, considering there's less of them and they're kind of, they're not too far behind us and getting killed by police. Still. Still, still, still. They should be working on, like, Chicago, Little Rock, Detroit, L.A., the Bronx, Harlem. Be working with those communities. That's what I'd be doing. I mean, I don't run the fucking group, so I don't have a voice in it. So, you know, maybe work less on what's, like, a fraction of the problem and work on people in poor communities killing each other. And y'all want to say Black Lives Matter, and all right, that's what you want to focus on. Instill that in people in poor neighborhoods. I mean, I'm not from the best neighborhood. I mean, I'm in a fucking apartment, but and I'm surrounded by meth heads, but still. Maybe work on people killing each other over a street less than someone that had a gun and did or did not attempt to pull it and got killed by a police officer. I mean, I saw the video of the dude from L.A. They said gun, did have a gun in his pocket, pulled the gun on him, don't move. Now, did he directly stick his hand in the pocket and try to grab the gun? No, but I saw a lot of fucking movement. And if you're in a situation like that, you're on fucking overdrive. You're not thinking, oh, well, his hand's not in his pocket yet. You're thinking, okay, he's moving around at that gun. Bang. That's, that's your fucking thought process. Because no one handles shit like that. When your adrenaline reaches a point where it's like, oh, shit, he's got a gun. And... We're fucking wrestling with them on the ground, and it's two on one. Yeah, but a gun's kind of a fucking equalizer. <laughs> you know, you can have a if you get if you get a fucking gun. You know, you can rule a hundred people that don't have one that fucking easy. I mean, why don't the hundred people bum rush the guy? Because well, if he's got twelve bullets, that means twelve people are gonna fucking die, and no one wants to take the risk of them being part of that twelve people. Same reason the cop doesn't want to risk. Well, his hand's not in his pocket yet, and then maybe. He grabs it through his fucking sweatpants and just starts fucking shooting up and he kills his partner. He hits him under the chin and he's fucking dead. Now you got two bodies. Anyway. If you... I've found that for the most part, unless you have a dick cop. I mean, there's dar dick cops. There's dick everyone's. You got nurses that are mean to patients just because they're fucking assholes. It's that simple. The news is on, that's why I keep looking away, but I turned it down. If you act respectful, you present yourself well, and not to say that dressing up in all Chicago Bulls is bad. I mean, if you're going to a game, that's all right, but maybe not wear, like, one solid color a lot, often. Even if you're not in a gang, it gives off the feel that you might be in one for someone that hasn't talked to you. We had another big shooting in Germany. That's lovely. Anyway. If you present yourself well, don't get out of the car. If if you get out of the car when a cop stops you for any reason, it's a bad fucking idea. No matter what it is. If your fucking kid just fell out the window. Well, yeah, maybe get out of the car then. But You know what I mean. Don't get out of the fucking car. There's hardly any good reasons to do it. I've been stopped by police. I've had negative encounters and I've had positive encounters. For the most part, I have positive encounters because I'm respectful and I do all the yes sir, no sir, we're going here sir, all right, you have a nice day too. It's a 30, 45, okay, 45 second encounter. And all the negative encounters I've had is because I've been with someone fucking dumb. Why do you want to know? Why does it matter? Why the fuck would you make it hard? Why? If he's just asking you, where are you going? I mean, it's not like he's like, oh, I need you. I mean, I'd, I'd be a little more pissy if he went, I need you to get, put, come here, put your hands on the car. I mean, that'd piss me off. If he just pulled up and did that to me, I'd be fucking mad. You see videos of dudes are like, 
I'm not giving you my ID. I don't have to give you my ID. I was like, well, if you're not doing shit wrong, what the fuck does it matter? Why? It's going to be two minutes of your fucking day. It doesn't matter. Stop acting like that, and you won't get him the fuck up. Say, all my friends that haven't been, that had our positive encounters with the police that do bad shit, you don't know why? Stop, don't fucking move! And they lay the fuck down. Guess what? They don't get kicked or shot or fucking hemmed up and slammed. Because they're chill. They're chill with it. Alright, I got fucking caught. And then you get the same mother, different motherfuckers in the same situation. Fuck you! And they keep running. They get fucking tased. And they try to get up and the cop fucking sl- pounces on them and slams their ass back in the concrete. Hmm. That's fucking brutality. No, that's resisting arrest. I mean, there are situations, I'm sure. I mean, I don't hear about them in the news. Most of the things I hear about in the news is, I think, well, if I was a cop, I would have shot the guy, too. That's fucking, that's fucking insane. I'm not going to let anyone risk pulling a gun on me or killing me or my partner. Or if, hey, if someone just beat the shit out of me and starts running back at the car and I had already tried to pull my gun out of my, the gun out of my holster, I'm probably going to kill him. Could they use le- less lethal methods? Yes, that might not have been what was going through their time, going through their head. I mean, it's a high adrenaline situation. Maybe the department needs better training. That's all I'm saying. I mean, it's not necessarily racism. racism. It's fucking instinct. In high stress situations, you freak the fuck out and you just do shit quick. And sometimes it's really good. Sometimes it's not so fucking good. That doesn't mean you're an asshole, that just means you genuinely made a mistake, and if it costs someone their life, sometimes that's just the outcome to things whenever you're in a certain profession. If you're a cop, if you're a paramedic, if you're a soldier, sometimes your bad decisions cost lives. I'm not saying that that makes it easy to live with, not saying that it makes it easy on the people of the family, of the guy that lost their life, that family. I mean, I've seen the videos of the people crying and freaking out whenever their son or their husband or dad got killed on TV. I mean, it sucks. It sucks for that family, yeah. But, I mean, when you put it wrong, the kid was doing something wrong or the grown man was doing something wrong. And shit happened. Now, the big dude in New York that got choked to death, that's that's horse shit. That's bad on those cops. That's a bad fucking cop. That is bad. Don't do shit like that if you're a cop. Don't fucking choke people. It's because you know you can fuck around and break their trachea and they'll fucking suffocate and die. Anyway, that's all I want to do for this video since it's getting long. Marcus, I'm going to put you in the thing. Stay lit, stay chill. Like, comment, subscribe. And remember, don't get out of the car. Stay calm. Present yourself well. I want to add something on to that last video before I put that out there. Yes, I understand it happens. I understand there are bad cops. I understand they hem people up because they're shitholes. Like I said, you have shitholes in every profession. I'm, I feel really bad for people that happens to. Personally, I think I've only met like one person that had a negative encounter with a cop just because the cop could. Just because the cop could abuse power. Was that a really shitty thing? Did it piss me off to hear about it? Yes, it did. I was fucking furious about that. I was like, did you get his badge number? Did you do all this? And he, no, the guy didn't do it. I mean, he didn't get fucking killed or anything. I mean, they just like threw all, they like searched his car. They didn't get a warrant. They threw all his shit in the road. For no fucking reason. And actually, that was my mom that happened to. That was when she used to be a police dispatcher. And they fucking, um, um, there was someone in her department that didn't fucking like her. And she's not a real co- cop. She's a fucking dispatcher. You're not a real cop for that. Or back then you didn't. I don't know about now. I don't know about every department, but I know in El Dorado you didn't have to. And so he pulled her over, going home down a fucking country road, and slung all of her shit out in the road just because he didn't like her because she's kind of a bit. My mom's a little mean sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, there, there are cops. There are some cops that abuse their power, but you gotta understand, for the most part, cops don't become cops so they can fucking kill people. They become cops because they want to make a difference. Same reason people. Most people enlist in the army. People don't enlist in the army going, I'm gonna fucking murder shit. Woo! You know, if that was the case, everyone would go infantry, but they don't. There's people that, like me, want to be a combat medic. There's people that want to be an engineer. There's people that, you know, they <laughs> they don't want to be anywhere near a fucking gun. They just want to serve their country. Same reason cops want to 
For the most part, they want to serve their community. And you can't... If you can't judge everyone off that one cop or you're doing exactly what that bad cop is doing. You're judging, if he's judging a whole ethnicity of people off something, you can't judge all cops off what one or a few cops have done. Same reason, you can't judge all Muslims because one person that says they're Muslim and they think this is what their religion means puts a bomb in their car and drives it into a fucking hospital. You can't. Just chill, chill. Be pissed at this guy. Don't be pissed at the group at a whole. Same reason I'm trying, trying really hard not to be pissed at Black Lives Matter for some people that orchestrate closing off roads, which is illegal. People that say they want their part of the community that kill cops. No shit, that's illegal. That's fucking horrible. Just stay calm, okay? It's, don't fucking hate people. Don't put everyone in one group, okay?